Okay guys, we're jumping into Cancerian money reading. Hope you guys are doing good. I think we're doing Cancerian. Did we do Cancerian already? I think this is Leo. I believe we're at Leo. Probably should have checked this before I started, but I'm more of a shoot first. Ask questions later type of guy. Okay, as always, feel free to like, share, follow, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Um, let's see, your first energy is going to be for, this is a money spread, by the way, your current views of money. Your current views of money. Um, and if you're not the sign that we're reading for, feel free to apply to the corresponding side sign um, or the corresponding house I should say so yes this is going to be for Leo so the corresponding house is going to be fifth house so this is more so the playful side of money um, maybe even spending it to express yourself to feel joy uh, maybe even spending it uh, in relationship so this is going to be your current views of money Leo or fifth house Okay, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be read as poverty consciousness. Going within, though, you're going inward. You're probably investing more so in self-care, self-help, things of this nature. How your relationship to money could improve. This is sudden change, drastic change here. What's blocking you from the flow of abundance? Okay, Devil card in the reverse. So it could be that you're just kind of starting to move away from more toxicity or toxic lifestyle. Whatever it is that that was for you that you've been cutting out, Spirit wants you to keep that going. Okay, it could be a sober October. It could be like a no nut November. Sorry for the language, but it's true. Um, so keep at that. Because the devil in the reverse is seeing a future, having a future vision, and moving away from bondage or toxicity. Um, things that bound you. So I think you're headed in the right direction in that regard here. We're going to keep on clarifying in the extent of the full video could be found on YouTube, Running Down Tarot. What you need to release that will help the money flow to you, the Ace of Cup in the reverse. So it may be that you have a number of emotional investments, emotional relationships that are not serving you. So you might want to be mindful as to who it is that you're emotionally invested in or, who, or what it is that you're emotionally invested in. How can you better manifest money? You got the seven of wands in the reverse. This is being open, being vulnerable. Okay, I, I feel as though that as opposed to being kind of protective or on the defensive, this is more so an energy of being open and vulnerable um, uh, in, in the way you carry yourself. Okay, so that might attract more uh, monetary uh, energetic flow your way. A tip to help with financial success here. Hangman in the upright position. So this is essentially just kind of change the way you see your current situation. I think a lot of it is giving yourself credit, giving yourself credit where it's due as far as like, hey, I'm doing a lot here. Let me just step back and acknowledge it. Let me just step back and recognize it. Let me just step back and, and really kind of give myself some, some due credit and due justice here. The current view of money is, it's not lack. Uh, you know, the five of pentacle, if it were to come out in the upright position, I would more so consider this an energy of lack. Let me clarify. So I do think that you have a better understanding of um, the tool of money and how it can be applied accordingly uh, in new ways, though. I feel as though that you're searching for new investments, the hermit card in the upright indicates kind of seeking far and wide new kind of instances of investment and or something that you could uh, appropriately channel that financial investment to as opposed to um, negative kind of money pits or money traps that you've previously been involved with emotionally. Um, when we talk about money, we're kind of really talking about abundance, we're talking about energy, focus, Time, okay, because they say time is money, so it's all of a conversion rate 
um, I do feel as though that you have um, enough kind of energy, uh, time, um, uh, interest to be able to offer, uh, you know, whether it's um, whatever field you participate in, it could be creating content, it could be, you know, whatever it is. Um, uh, I don't need to list a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, examples, but you essentially you have worth and you have value that you can offer and give and, and I feel as though that you understand that so much to the point where you're not moving in poverty consciousness which is great you have something that you could add you could affect change um, how your relationship to money could improve I want to put the link to the reading um, oh this is pre-recorded I was gonna do a live stream but maybe I'll do a live stream in the next one um, how your relationship to money could improve. Let's try to clarify here. The tower is sudden change. Sudden change. So this could be unexpected windfall. Okay, how your relationship to money can improve. It's great. Can you clarify? Okay, seeing things from a bigger perspective, from a bird's eye perspective. Taking more risk. Seeing opportunity where, where those dare not tread. Where most people would dare not tread here. Um, to me, what comes to mind is crypto, you know, I believe we're at all time, you know, Black Friday lows, so now's the time to, to buy, in my mind, you know, uh, get on that Robinhood app. I think that the, I, I think I shared my Robinhood link uh, in the description box below. If not, feel free to message me and I'll send you one. It's just an easy way to kind of get involved in, in the Robinhood uh, investment um, app. Um, What's blocking you from the flow of abundance? To me, again, I'm getting like positive feedback in this kind of regard. I'm not seeing any blockages for you, Leo. Um, you're moving forward emotionally. The only thing that I would suggest is if you are feeling like you're just completely on your own, or you haven't established relationships, I would try to kind of strategically connect more and reach out to those of similar interests. Okay, I think that that's a nice way to elevate your game. Uh, your own status and those around you. What well, you need to release, <clears throat> again, we spoke to these emotional investments that are showing no return. They could be relationships too. It could be that one family member that you get on the phone with and you're like, I'm always in a bad fucking attitude when I hang up. I'm always in a bad mood when I get off the phone with this person. I'm not getting the satisfaction that I want out of this. <clears throat> the Six of Cup in the Upright. Yeah. It's saying that you need to release these old kind of relationships that are not serving you. Uh, that you know could be in the past and you just gave way too much time and attention to them. Uh, so I feel like you're on par. I, it might be a little bit of an isolationism, but I think it's going to lend itself to your ultimate wish fulfillment and what you want to see in return. How can you better manifest money? Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, continue to be objective. And balanced. Be a little bit selfish with your time, I would say. The Nine of Cup in the reverse. Be a little bit more kind of selfish with your time and your emotion. Okay, yeah, because you, you are really, truly channeling this kind of experienced energy here. So I think you really need to start to carry yourself uh, as that and step into your power. Don't, don't you know small league yourself. It's time to big league yourself. Um, it's a type of financial success. Okay, continue to manifest. Your manifestations are working. Okay? It could be that new moon energy as well that you're hitching your wagon to. This past Wednesday we were at 0% illumination. And if you really did the meditation, if you really did the kind of like dream jitsu, um, where you're like doing the energetic mental jujitsu, heart spiritual jujitsu, with your manifestations, your affirmations, um, then you're gonna see that return come that full moon. Um, you're gonna see it bloom. Uh, so keep on doing with those manifestations and those affirmations. All right, guys, I'm gonna do next Virgo. I'm gonna do it on the live stream though. Okay, I forgot to do it on the live stream, so I'm okay, guys. Reach out, holla at your boy, peace.